this guy, Greg Brockman, uh, and his friend, Sam Altman, uh, were released from OpenAI. Allow me to elucidate to my chat. Uh, what is OpenAI? What is Sam Brockman? Uh, or Sam Altman have to do with this? And the answer is OpenAI was like a small company and they were developing chat GPT. They needed a little bit of investment money. So they said, helpies, we are very poor, but we want to make a chat robot. Can you guys please give us a little bit of money to do this with? And lo and behold, they were invested billions and billions and billions of dollars by many companies, the biggest of which was Microsoft. Microsoft apparently saw the strategic value of uh, this newfangled machine learning type business, uh, poured a ton of money into it, and now if you use Bing, uh, it gives you good results. I wonder why. Could it be that there is machine learning involved in determining what things people want to see when they type in Kiwi Farms, like such as the website Kiwi Farms and not things related to Kiwi Farms from other websites? Maybe so. Maybe it took uh, a, a human soul trapped in a computer and the complexity of a machine learning uh, artificial intelligence to determine that. But lo and behold, Bing is now useful. Um, so uh, Sam Waltman was the guy that was in charge of this. He ran the company for a very long time. And it had a board of directors that he was beholden to um, that had usually a board of directors in a company is interested in the profit they want to make the money chat the green if you're a disgusting american maybe even the cheddar chat the cheddar cheese so when a board um is retarded they may focus less on the cheddar and more on the equity inclusion and uh, governance of things as opposed to things that actually matter. So um, Altman, despite being basically a guy who turned a garage company into a $51 billion enterprise funded by some of the largest names in technology ever to exist, um, the board of directors decided that he was not being inclusive enough and they fired him. And they fired his uh, partner, Greg Brockman, as well. And so, um, one company in particular named Microsoft is very, very angry at this. And they said, mm, board of directors, you got to fix this. This is all fucky wucky. And the board of directors says, no, no, investor child. We will not fix this. This company is not inclusive enough. So Microsoft has told OpenAI um that they're probably going to hire sam altman they're going to put him in charge of microsoft's department of machine learning ai shit and 700 of the 770 employees at OpenAI have signed a petition that either sam altman should be reinstatement uh reinstated or they're going to leave so basically this company worth 51 billion dollars uh got rid of its uh lead um director for no reason besides some bullshit and as a result microsoft is going to take not only that guy and put him in charge of a direct competitor but 90 percent i want to say 90 90 plus percent of their entire workforce are also going to leave and probably directly join microsoft and basically just pick up where they left off so um a little bit weird uh it's kind of it's kind of set people off it's really crazy um like just it's 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 a little bit um it's a little heartwarming actually that you see something like open ai it's a 51 billion dollar company and you think well this is probably our our skynet this is probably just going to be how it is for the rest of our lives and then it implodes it just implodes overnight and it's like with Twitter. One day it was Twitter, and the next day some crazy fucking autistic man from South Africa buys it, and now it's called X for some reason. It's like, oh, that's nice. Things have changed. Things have changed just a little bit. Maybe one day we'll just wake up to the news that Google has imploded 
and all of its subsidiary companies are going to have to be sold for parts because they're being liquidated. I don't know, something cool like that. It can still happen. These things still happen in this crazy world. It just, things just explode randomly. I actually talked about this already. Um, talked about this already. Actually, um, this I did not talk about. I, I, I kind of glossed over who they were replacing him with. They're replacing him with a woman named Murati, who I, I guess is Indian. I don't know what the fuck she is, but she was the former CEO of Twitch. So, you know, that company that's like the largest distributor of softcore child pornography in the entire world. The company that tries to sign every one of their streamers to like a soul selling contract so they can't multi stream and so on and so forth. Like the worst company in the entire world. Um, a company that I actually, there's a lot of companies I hate, but I'm forced to reconcile with because there's not really viable alternatives to them. Twitch is one of those companies that's really big, really contemptible, just pure evil. And I have no reason to use them. I literally never watch Twitch. I never have a reason to watch Twitch. And they run ads, so fuck them. Um, it, it's great. I, it's one of those rare situations where I'm like, yeah, I can just tell you to go fuck yourself. I don't need to watch your shit. <laughs> Pounce in, fucker. Was she not Twitch? Am I wrong? Am I... I thought Murati was Twitch. CEO is Emmett Shearer from Twitch. Now. Okay, so the Twitch CEO guy is the acting CEO. Okay, sorry, I got it confused. The the Twitch CEO is currently the OpenAI acting CEO. Um, however, they're I think they're trying to replace him or her or whatever with somebody else long term. Whatever. Oh, for a second. Look, I don't care about the losers. I'm voting for the winners, chat. I'm voting for the guys who are going to bing it up, who are going to bring bing to the next level. That is what I care about. How do we bring bing to the forefront of technology and internet searches across the world? And I think that Sam Altman is the guy for the job, our top guy for binging. That's what I'm voting for. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.